Hey guys, it's Kelly and welcome back to our channel. For today's video, I'll be filming a vlog. This might be today and tomorrow when I'm not 100% sure. Today is Monday, June 22nd, and this is the first time I've picked up my camera to film all of June. I know I haven't been posting on my YouTube channel, but I used this month to learn more about the Black Lives Matter movement and just kind of silence my voice because I don't really have anything to bring to the table. So instead, I use this month to learn and let other people influence me to be better, you know what I mean? So I'm sorry if you guys missed any of our content, but we are back now and we will be filming more content for you guys here shortly. If you haven't noticed, I am uploading on different days. Before I was doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but now I'm going to do Tuesday, Friday. I might do Sundays sometimes, but that's not going to be like a certain schedule my schedule is tuesday friday just because i feel like monday wednesday friday is great and it's great to have three videos but i always take more time on like my monday video and my wednesday video than my friday video so i was thinking limiting down to two a week will help me edit better and post more content that you guys will actually enjoy because i feel like my content sometimes like uh, Monday and Wednesday's video will be good, but then Friday's video will just be like some stupid thing, like, <laughs> you know? Well, actually, I guess I'll add this in because this is going up on Friday and I have to film another video today to go up tomorrow. I know I am so behind with YouTube. In Tuesday's video, which I haven't filmed yet, I'm going to talk about my birth control story, why I went on it, why my experience on it, and why I actually got off of birth control. In case you didn't see that video, does not mean we're getting pregnant. Not happening anytime soon. Just want to make that 100% clear. This is 100% a health standpoint and not a, like, oh, we're ready to have baby. So next Monday, I actually go back to school. I'm excited about it, but the class that I'm taking, I'm not 100% excited about, but that's just the reality of school, you know? Like, you're not gonna love every single class that you're taking, but also, it's a professor that is so hard, and I'm not sure how he's going to be with a really, really short week, or course. It's like seven weeks, and yeah. I'm not sure how it's gonna go, but I'm going to try my hardest, because obviously I want a degree. <laughs> and I want good grades. Today I'm going to be just doing some random things, making some food, waiting for Brendan to come home because he wasn't home yesterday and I miss him. And also I'm gonna have to film a video, which is gonna be harder to film. If you guys see it, then you know that it was hard to film because it's kind of like really personal and I don't know how I feel about posting it on social media. But I'm trying to be more open about things like that because I feel like there's such a stigmatism around birth control and talking about periods and talking about everything in between. Another thing that's very exciting, maybe not to you guys, but 100% to me and definitely Brendan, we got our Costco membership. We have been Sam's Club members for like, I don't know, since November or something. And we still have that membership, but we got it off of Groupon for like $30 and then we got like $30 back or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. It was free, whatever. But we got a Costco membership and I love Costco. My dad is literally obsessed with Costco. If he can't get it at Costco, he probably doesn't need it and whatever. But um, we actually got the executive member one because the lady talked us into it or talked me into it. And I was like, that's actually a great deal. Like we could probably get the membership paid for like with money back. But then I realized that it's like $3,000 in a year. So I don't know if that's gonna work. But you know, like Costco has gas. So maybe, maybe, you know, like I don't know. <laughs> But we also love Costco and they have so much gluten-free stuff. So we're either just going to be shopping there and then like not going anywhere else or just going there and also going to other places from now on because like Sam's Club is great and whatever. But um, they don't have a lot of gluten-free stuff and it's always hit or miss like I always get these gluten-free Mickey chicken nuggets and they're shaped like Mickey Mouse and they kind of make it just so much more fun 
not that eating chicken nuggets needs to be fun, but you know, they're like my favorite chicken nuggets that I've had that are gluten-free, obviously, because I have celiac disease, and they don't have them. I can't, we haven't been able to find them for like the past month. Like at the beginning of the pandemic, I 100% understood because people were just buying everything in bulk and were just getting the gluten-free nuggets because they didn't know they were gluten-free probably because they barely say it. It's like one little thing. And yeah, but now there's not even a spot for them at our Sam's Club and I'm actually very upset. So if any of you guys know of any gluten-free chicken nuggets, please tell me because I like religiously use them for salads and I also put them in pasta for like extra protein so I don't eat that much. Also, before I decide to get on with this clip because obviously this vlog is going to be a lot more chit chat rambly because obviously I have not picked up my camera in a month so I want to just talk to you guys. So. Um, this month, obviously, I'm getting off birth control and I'm trying to reset my body and fuel it with more whole foods, more organic foods and everything like that. Because I've read online that that's like the best diet for like anyone and also I've read on, on like celiac disease pages that it's really good for celiac and like really being clean and also resetting your body after birth control. It's not like you have to like do a cleanse or anything like that. So I'm just gonna be vlogging more just because I'm trying to be healthier and obviously I just miss talking to you guys and I hope you guys are doing well and I would love to get to know you guys more because I feel like before I just like wasn't really posting any content that you guys could like give feedback for do you know what I mean like here it's like I'm asking like what kind of gluten-free chicken nuggets do you guys like like you know just random things because before i feel like i was just telling you guys things and not really opening up a conversation i was thinking about making some oatmeal pancakes but i really just want to see if i can make them with oatmeal and eggs i feel like it wouldn't work out i feel like there has to be something else but i tried banana oatmeal pancakes and I wanted to gag. They were so gross. So one thing I wanted to talk about before continuing with this vlog is that I'm going to be adding more like healthy things into my content. Before I stopped uploading for the month of June for the Black Lives Matters movement, I was talking about more like cleaning things and obviously you guys know that I have natural cleaners now. So I want to add in more like healthy living things like what I'm eating, what I'm cooking, and like my workouts and stuff like that. I probably will never film them just because I do work out at Planet Fitness and my Planet Fitness is not set up in a way that I could actually get away with filming my workouts. Just wanna show you guys me changing my life, I guess. Cause like obviously I'm taking it very seriously now that I'm like off the birth control pill and doing trying to do my best to fuel my body with foods that will help my body. But one thing I wanted to say with that is that I'm gonna be trying to do like cooking videos inside of my vlogs because I do not know how to cook. So, like I know how to cook like, a few things. Let me just say that before anybody's like, you really don't know how to cook? So, well really yes, I don't know how to cook. But I wanna learn how to cook just because like, you know, like in the next few years, we're gonna start having a family or start trying for a family. And I don't wanna be like that wife that, or that mom that's like, oh, well like, I don't know how to cook. So like, go ask your dad. Because my mom does not know how to cook. Hi mom, you don't know how to cook. It's not new. You know how to make beefaroni, so do I. So that's like not good. I'm already in the bad way. I need to like learn how to cook better things. So I just like wanna learn how to cook. I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to cook meat, but I know I can make tur uh, ground turkey. So I think I'm gonna try and get it and try and incorporate it with different recipes. I know I can't cook chicken. It grosses me out. But today I'm gonna be trying to make my oatmeal pancakes. And obviously, this might not work out. So, if it doesn't, I don't know what I'm gonna eat, but <laughs> but that's fine. But with that, 
what I wanted to say with the oatmeal pancakes. I really want to learn how to make them just because I do not like eggs and I feel like if I had something with just like oatmeal and eggs and whatever other ingredient, not bananas, I would be able to eat like more eggs in a day, you know, like get more protein up because I need my protein up. But I'm gonna bring you along with that because obviously it might be hard and my food might not be good. But hopefully if you guys don't know how to cook, you can come along with me on this journey and it will help you learn how to cook because I am almost 23 and I barely know how to cook for myself. I know how to make pasta. That's not good. <laughs> but yeah, let's get into this. So I keep most of my vitamins in the fridge just because my friend told me that it's better for you and they go down easier. I don't know if it's better for you, but they go down easier and they definitely do. The only one I don't keep in the fridge is my glucosamine because this bottle is literally huge. It's like the size of my head. So this doesn't fit in our fridge. I take this because I have quadricep tendonitis and this helps me a lot. But they are very big pills. I kind of forgot that people don't take pills. Like some people can't take them. So I'm sorry if this might gross you out. I don't know. So I take this once in the morning and it's two tablets per dose. So yeah, I got this from Sam's Club, by the way. I'm not sure if I told you, but it was like $10 for 350 tablets, which is about 175 servings. So. so the first one I have is the Nature's Made Calcium, Magnesium, and Zinc. The reason why I take this is because I have celiac disease and um, I've read online that it's better to take things like this to help your teeth and stuff. And I also have really bad gums, so. The next vitamin I take is the Woman's Daily Multivitamin. And I get this at Sam's Club. I'll probably just get it at Costco once it's done because I won't finish this before our Costco member, or our Sam's Club membership expires. And I'm not gonna like stock up on these. Just, they're just like off brand. And then all of these have been like my normal vitamins, but I just got this probiotic from Amazon and it's the Physician's Choice 60 Billion Probiotic and it comes with 30 of them. Brendan and I are both taking this, so it's not gonna last that long, but it's just a little capsule. I know like if some people like open it and put it into like their smoothie or something, but I don't really drink smoothies that often, so yeah, and plus like I don't have an issue with swallowing pills, so maybe that's like what they do to swallow it. So now I am roughly following a recipe that I found online, and it's just this oatmeal blender pancake recipe that I found on Pinterest but this one obviously asks for a banana but I'm not gonna put a banana because I don't like banana pancakes so yeah <laughs> Doubted all that I could do Knowing what I need to do All I can say The word Okay So My pancakes are done And I'm not gonna lie I don't know what I did Like If you saw Me making them 
there were no measurements of anything on that recipe and I hate when people don't put like how much I need so it called for one egg but then I blended it and like I guess it was because I didn't put the banana in so I just put another egg and it was fine but then it got too liquidy so I put more oatmeal in and then if you saw me doing the baking soda I didn't know how much to do so I was just like oh let me just pour it in so here are my pancakes. I'm not gonna lie, they look kind of sad. In real life, on camera, they look pretty good. So, I'm gonna try them. Hope I don't die. So they're not bad. I think the baking soda kind of made it taste like pretzels. I don't know how to explain that. It's just like salty. Yeah, they taste like pretzels, but that's not a bad thing because there's not really that many gluten-free pretzels. I feel like the next time I make these, I'm just gonna eyeball them and just do like the same ingredients but that recipe made it so incredibly hard to understand what i'm supposed to use but they're not bad but it's currently 244. i know i have my phone in military time i'm sorry guys but um yeah i think brendan should probably be home by five i really hope so but i really want to try and film edit and or at least like well 100% film at least 50 60% edited I really hope I can get that just because I don't want to be on my laptop that much tonight just because I didn't see him at all yesterday and I'm I'm that needy wife that like likes to see their husband you know just like normal wives um I've been looking at blenders just because I've been trying to find one that would be a good like mix between a food processor and a blender like I told you guys earlier and um, so I found that Vitamixes are definitely the best but they're also $500 so I'm gonna scratch that idea and I'm looking at this Ninja Professional plus blender duo with auto IQ. I heard that this one is a lot better for like blending and like using it as a processor, like a food processor. So I don't know. And this is from Sam's Club. So it's a pretty good deal. Cause it's like, you know, like a wholesale store. I don't know if Costco has it, but um, Sam's Club has it for $99. And sometimes they're on sale, like Insta savings for Sam's Club. Like one time, I think it was on sale for $79. And I remember I was like, Brendan, we should get this. Like, this is a good deal. And he was like, we have a blender. And I was like, yeah, but like our blender isn't the best. <laughs> like it doesn't blend things. Like even, like I know that like, I could just get like a cheapy food processor and whatever but like our actual blender takes forever to crush up anything like even ice it like takes forever so i feel like it'd be like beneficial to like kill two birds with one stone i've said that like three times today and i don't know why but i feel like it'd be beneficial you know okay so i am currently boiling water and putting my chicken in i think during this video i've kind of decided that i want to do intermittent fasting again not to be like be like oh i want to lose weight obviously i do regardless but not like through intermittent fasting like during the summer it's impossible for me to eat so i feel like if i have like structured times to eat it will force me to eat pretty much yeah i don't know what time i'm gonna do i don't think i'm gonna start today because it's already 2:40. And I don't know what time Brendan's gonna get home, so I'm gonna schedule my IF intermittent fasting on a later date because um, Brendan's work schedule has been so off recently that it's kind of hard to like schedule or decide when I want to eat and like what windows I want to eat. So I think I'm gonna like wait this whole week and maybe next week and see like what time. Like, I should stop eating. I don't really get hungry in the morning. Very rarely do I get hungry in the morning. So I feel like if I push it back, it won't be that big of an issue. I feel like this video might honestly just be Monday, just because 
like this is my first day back on filming so I feel like I'm gonna have a lot more content and if I add any more I feel like it's gonna be like a 40 minute video so yeah I think I'm just gonna edit this one maybe tomorrow morning for Friday and have my two videos for this week already prepped and uploaded because that would be really good because I need to work on next week's videos and probably the next week's videos just because I'm starting school again and I don't know I want to like prep more and not just wing it because like I hate when it's the day before and I have to film and edit and that's not fun so okay so I just finished my makeup and I finished making my lunch it is pasta chicken nuggets and creole I'm obsessed with creole and I obviously have my water so so we got these bowls from Target they're literally plastic bowls but I don't know why I need all of this collection it was like 74 cents each or something crazy like that but like I have been eating so much less and like I don't know how to explain it like I just have been eating like the normal amount of a portion instead of a ton because of these bowls because like I can see everything and I'm like oh this is a lot of food but like this is probably like one tenth not that less much less but like a lot less than what I normally eat of pasta because I am a carb fiend I literally like am ab addicted to penne pasta and like just pasta in general Brendan's home what's good for that one he's freaking out <laughs> He's like, pet me. Co Cooper's gonna do a grocery haul. Brendan's Cooper, gonna do a grocery haul. Show us what you got us, Cooper. Hey, Miss Cooper. The first thing we got is five boxes of pasta. Well, we picked up some, some pasta. We got five boxes of these. We gotta stock up when we can. We got four potatoes. For what? Four potato stuff. <laughs> I got Kelly some Bob Evans mashed potatoes. The family size. She was craving them. Got some extra gluten-free nuggets for Kelly. Okay, I don't know if she needs any more, but got some extra. I think I have like one bag. And then we got two, two things of lactose-free ice cream that we like. That's all. So no. it is the next day, and I'm just coming on here to finish the video because I didn't get a chance to finish it last night, and I figured why not just jump on this morning and end the vlog. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and if there's anything you'd like to see from me please let me know down below because I'd love to make those videos for you. But yeah if you guys stuck around to watch this video thank you so much and I very much so appreciate it. But yeah I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!